I think I'm going to start by dragging out this reports page and placing it uh, after the locations report so that I can have all my hidden reports at the end of my Power BI desktop. So the first visual we are going to create now is the decomposition tree visual. Now what the decomposition tree visual does is it allows users to be able to drill from any number to any dimension of the data set. So if I pull up a decomposition tree visual, which I'm going to make to take half of the page. So I'm just going to resize it and make it uh, about half of what is left of this, my reporting canvas page. Then the number I want to be able to, you know, uh, decompose is sales. So I'll go to pick on sales and it will automatically just stay within the analyze bucket and you can see the sum of sales there is 2.2 million right now from this point we are now going to add a couple of data categories to the explain by field now once we do that it's going to make it easy for any user to be able to easily click on a node and choose which data field they would like to drill to but before i even proceed uh, maybe I don't like to use the sum of sales as my description here. So I will simply come into this field bucket and I'm going to double click on that name. So when I double click on the name, it will allow me to be able to edit it and I'm going to call this total sales instead. So I want it to be total sales. Then I want to be able to explain this uh, total sales by several things. I'm going to start with year, then quarter and month. And then I'm going to add other important dimensions like region, segment, ship mode, state, subcategory. Then maybe if I scroll up, I will find another interesting dimension like category and set and city rather. So the way it is now, you can see that node and a user can easily come to click on this node and they will see an option to select where they want to drill to right so for example i'm just going to select here so when the user drills to here they can go to any of these years and continue to drill again so it's just like a tree with several branches so i'm going to go to 2016 and i will drill from here to maybe it's category okay so users can basically continue to drill and drill and drill and it makes it easy for them to explore the data but if you want to close any of the nodes that you have opened you just go at the top of that node and you are going to click on this remove level and we can also click on remove level from here but one thing we can also do is we can have some levels fixed on the report you know that would be like a basis for users to start from so i'm going to fix the year level for this report so that by default it will already open up the year and i just want my users to be able to start to drill after you know uh, the year level so when i click on the node and i select year at the top of the year here if you hover on it you are going to see a padlock there right so if i click on the padlock it's going to lock it that means we can no longer remove it and users can no longer remove it as well they will always start to drill from the year level 